Hello, in this video we're, we're going to start by making a closed box with a dimensions with the dimensions of 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So let's just say for the sake that we're not going to assign which one is the, the length and width and height until we actually draw this thing out. But we should point out that a closed box just means that, that when you're looking at volume and surface area, you count all six, six faces, right? The box isn't cut open or anything. So how do we do this? Well, I'm going to use this isometric dot paper here to help me out. And I know that the height is 5 and the width and length is 2. So let me start. I think it will be easiest to set the width up of 2, right? And then, well, a length of 3. And actually, let me go a lot lower here, sorry. 2 by 3 and a height of, of 5. So how do we do that? Well, of course with the paper here we're estimating, but let's just say that's about 5, right? Just about. A little bit longer than 5, but that's okay. Here we go. Connect these. And the paper, you know, the paper can help set up some simple drawings here for 3D drawings. That's the goal. And here, it's going to be a little bit up. There we go. And of course the dimensions are, if you measure this out, it's not, not the scale at all. It's just helping me draw this so I don't, I don't destroy this problem by with a sloppy rectangle. So here I'm going to draw in the back as well. And now, you know, based on the drawing that I set up, I'm going to label my length, my width, and my height. So let's just label that. And I'm just picking a direction here. This looks like the closest to 5, so the height is equal to 5 centimeters. Right, let's call this the length. Length is equal to three centimeters, and the width right here is two centimeters. So the width is equal to two. So we should label that over here as well, since that's what we're working with. This is the width, this is the length, and this is the height. Okay. So some questions that you you might discover or review while going over this is how many centimeter cubes fit on the bottom layer of this rectangular prism. So what they're asking you is that if this is a height of 1, let me pick a different color, if, the, if this is a height of 1, right, and we imagine that we're actually taking a layer of rectangular cubes and sticking them on the bottom here, how many, right, would actually fit? So here's, well, we know the, the length is 3, and each centimeter cube takes a centimeter, so my drawing's a little bit off, of course. But here, if we had a picture with this, the cubes, how deep they go, there's 1, 2, 3 rows. And the width is 2, right? So you can picture that the cubes would be too wide. So really, all they're asking you is, well, here, if the width is 2 and the length is 3 centimeters, how many cubes will actually fit within, within the, the width and length of 2? The height is 5. That's not really going to come into play here. I'm noticing this is not really helping. So here's our five red cube, or six red cubes, right? Six of them fit here. And notice that matches the the length times the width. So that's one layer. Well, that on that layer, there will fit six cubes. And you can think that, well, it's just going to take up the length of three and the width of two. And since they're centimeter cubes, their dimensions are one centimeter each side, it makes sense. Six of them will fit on the first layer. Then they might ask you, well, how many layers fit in this box? Well, every layer of cubes is one centimeter high. Since the overall height Right, it's five centimeters. Right, if we go up in every direction, we get five centimeters. That means five layers of these cubes will fit. Right, they're each one centimeter tall. So six cubes, and each 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 time, excuse me, the, the, the five layers of six cubes will fit within this package. So then they ask, well, what's the volume? And they're trying to help you with your intuition here. Well, if five layers of six cubes will fit then altogether 30 cubes, or 30 centimeter cubes, you can write it like this, will fit in the box, and that's the volume. Notice if we multiply 2 times 3 and times 5, we get the same number, right? Which is part of the reason you can think about why, multiply these three, why the volume is just the length times the width times the height, because you're really comparing, well, how many layers of length by width fit in the box. Then they might ask you about surface area, and we, we have enough to go with that, right? Because the front face here, that's, let me use a different tool here. This front face, it's 2 by 5, and so is this one in the back. It's also 2 by 5. Let me fix that. 
and right because their width is two and their and their height is five and I started on like this tool and fix it that's better these two faces oh, sorry one more time this this face and this face yeah that's better they both have a, a dimensions of two by five so that's two faces of ten right times two and then we're going to add that to what well, we have as other faces here. We have this one on the side, and that's what? Well, that's 3 by 5, and there's two of those on opposite sides. And 3 times 5 times 2, or 15 times 2, all right? Those are the left and right faces. Now we have to deal with the top and bottom. And those are just 2 by 3, width by length, or 6 times 2. So we want to add up these. We get 12. That's this one, plus 30, okay, plus 20. And that's, well, that's 50 plus 12 is 62. And you could say square centimeters or write it like this. And that just means the surface area is counting the number of actual squares, right, that actually fit on a face here. So this one, this front face is, is 2, sorry, 2 by 5. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, and you can count. Well, that's that's five times two is is ten, and doubled, and the back is twenty. That's what we're doing right here. So twenty squares will fit on those faces, and then we're adding them all up. Sixty-two centimeter squares will fit around the total surface area of this shape. All right, hope that helped.